Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the next video in the series. We are making clinic management system. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And um, if you have subscribed to the channel yet, you know, do me a favor, hit subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon as well so you get notification whenever I, I upload a new video. Now, in this video, my focus is to create a form, actually two forms. So there'll be actually no VBA, but we'll be mostly designing form in this video. But next video, we will uh, then have some VBA around that uh, form. But we will have a query created in this form. Uh, so to support our um, journey towards making the clinic management system. Now, if I zoom in a little bit, because I want to show you something here. We have already done work around making forms for these selected tables, but now we are left with visits, treatments, prescriptions, billing. If we think about it, all the tables that are left, they are all linked to one major uh, table, and that's main table, that's the TBL visits. So that's what we are going to work on in this video. We are going to you know, put together a skeleton uh, to make uh, sure that we have a form and um, actually two forms we'll make. And to do that, first of all, we'll make a query. The reason we make a query is because if I open a visit form, we can see there are some foreign keys, for example, patient ID, doctor ID, visit type, right? So, so the visit type is not a foreign key, uh, but patient ID, doctor ID is a foreign key. So these two are foreign keys. So we'll make a query. Uh, that will have the information stored and presented onto the uh, continuous form when we'll present it. Right, so let me zoom out and let me show you what kind of form for the visits I'm thinking of. And here is the sketch. So we'll have a form which will have information related to um, uh, the visits. So we'll have general information about visit, visit details. We'll have a list box for prescriptions. We'll have a list box for treatments. This is what we are going to focus on in this video. So let's go ahead and let's copy the managed medicine form. Why do we need to do that? Because we will have a list of visits. So we'll call it manage visits. Okay. Now in here, when we right click here, design view, we'll select all the text boxes. We'll get rid of them. And then we will change the caption. We'll say of this button, we'll say create visits. And then we'll go to the property sheet, others tab. And instead of create medicine, we'll say create visits. All right. Then we'll go to the uh, event tab and we'll go to the VB editor and we'll get rid of the code that is already behind these buttons. So that's done. Now the next step, step is to have um, you know the query made so we can bring that queries field onto this form so those forms those fields can be displayed so let's quickly go to create tab uh, design query query design and in here we will fetch uh, visits table we'll fetch patients table and we'll fetch the staff table all right so what we are going to do is we are going to fetch this information so now instead of we do need patient id for sure but instead of that what we need first is the patient name. But before that, we can have visit type, visit date, visit time. We can have that information. And then we can have the patient information and doctor information. You want to set up in a different way, it's up to you. You know, completely it's up to you. You can go ahead and set it up however you wish to do so. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see uh, properly in, in case the text is too small. Now, in here, what we are going to do is we are going to concatenate the first name and last name for both patients and this uh, doctor or staff so first let's uh, right click here and we'll choose the option build and we get this expression builder we'll bring it here so we can see the patient table clearly and in here we will type in patient all right basically what we want is concatenation between the first name and last name so we'll make it as one patient name all right so what we will do is we will refer to table first so dbo table which one patients exclamation mark first name all right ampersand ampersand double quote double quote and literally a space uh, between double quote double quote which will give us this um, um this uh, space in the first name and last name and then we will go dbo um patients all right exclamation mark then we'll have last name. All right, there we go. 
so that's done now we will have the patient name as full name instead of just first name and last name same we will do with the doctor so right let's right click it and build and we will come here and we'll say all right so doctor okay so in here we'll say dbo staff exclamation mark first name emphasis emphasis double quote double quote space literally as we did with the other patient table so we'll get the last name of the staff as well okay so that's about it so we'll have the doctor name completely do we left with something else yes reason for visit and the status okay so we'll go to design view and this is our query now nothing right now it's all empty because there's no record so let's save it and we'll call it uh, visits queue all right so let's close that and let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the complete screen we'll go to the property sheet of this form we'll go to data uh, tab so instead of this we'll get rid of it and we will type a visit queue basically linking this form to that particular query here the caption also should be changed so we'll say manage visits all right and in here we'll go to the form design add existing fields we'll select all fields we'll fetch them here onto the details uh, area of the form and then we'll right click and we'll lay out tabular there you go okay now next thing we are going to do is a little bit of alignment so we we'll want to make sure that you know this looks okay and we want to make the color of the labels as full white <coughs> we'll make them bold and uh, visit id visit type we'll give a little bit of spacing in between visit date visit time patient the reason for visit and status okay all right what i'll have there okay we'll fetch here and now we'll we can increase the width of some of the fields that are required to be increased so for example visit date we can increase the width a little bit we can just make the font centered align and then we can have patient and doctor their information or the text boxes or the fields to be expanded to let's say two all right and then we can expand uh, the reason for visit a little bit there you go okay that sounds looks good now we will have the height of these text boxes to 0 0.3 and we will align the text in the center 0 0.04 or 0 0.5 it's up to you and by the way i forgot to make this as full black so let's make that and uh, what else do we need well make that line a little bigger all right and we will close this and we will select again all of the text boxes and fields format shape outline transparent happy days okay let's go to the form view obviously we will not see anything because we don't have anything yet and that's the next step now we are going to create a form similar to this um i mean third form for the card operation not for, for the card operation and the form will look like this something like that okay so let's copy this form let's paste it paste it and we'll say visit excuse me, visit form okay so right click and uh, let's get rid of all the fields right and uh, we'll keep these buttons we'll see what we are going to do with them uh, we'll see later on but we will expand the width and height of this form a little bit and then we'll bring these buttons on to the right side we'll go to the property sheet of the button why because we want to go to even tab and behind the code and we want to get rid of all the code behind these buttons and then what we are going to do is we are going to link this form and that's right we will link this form to tbl visits and why we need to do that because we will fetch the information related to visits field because this form is primarily uh, is going to be linked with the visits all right so we'll do the same uh, kind of formatting that we usually do we'll go to arrange padding narrow uh, we'll go to the property sheet format we'll change the height to 0.3 not 2.3 we'll change the height to 0.3 0.3 and then 0.04 we'll align that text box 
we'll select all the labels we'll make them uh, bold we'll give a proper spacing between these uh, field uh, these names so you know we'll give a little bit here so instead of um, patient we'll change it later on I'll, I'll do it because as i said we're not going to have only one video uh, for this we'll have multiple videos so we'll have plenty of time to actually come back and fix the, some of these labels as well all right that's very very important okay so but for now this is okay we'll bring this here we'll expand their width a little bit and then what we are going to do is we are going to get some of these fields out of here so we'll remove the layout so we'll get doctor right and then we'll get a reason for visit all right we will also get the status so for example i get the status okay now status don't need to be that much bigger field and even the label we can reduce the width a little bit we can bring the label here and reason for visit uh, we will fix it a little later but first let's fix these things all right so we'll select all stack them we'll go to arrange narrow them there you go now let's bring the reason for visit field here and let's increase the width of it a little bit now i'm thinking something when i am actually designing this and that is i want to make them equally aligned right i want to make them make sure that you know they are equally aligned in the in the form so so that's the challenge here a little bit okay the status looks ugly here so sorry that's me right so that's completely me all right we'll bring the status i'm not liking the status here as well okay for now let's leave it there because we want this field to be a little bit wider so let's make that happen okay or what we can do is we can bring status here there you go and we can expand it as well because we will get better spacing for anyone to write reason for visit okay we'll uh, increase the width of it and then there you go looks okay you know not really fancy but it should do the work now next thing if we will have two list boxes so prescription and treatment okay so two list boxes first of all i want to yeah so we'll go to the form design and we'll go to the list box we'll fetch that we'll cancel it we'll delete it and we'll expand it and we'll increase the height a little bit as well all right copy it paste it all right there we go okay this uh, seems to be a little bigger so let's reduce the width all right okay i think we do have skeleton right now which is good but we can increase it further we can make it look more pleasing to the eyes by having some borders around these all right so instead of that we'll say general information and we will change the font color to full black and the size to maybe nine we'll make it bold as well by the way the font which is being used i really don't like it and you know what for some reason i can't change the default font font in this uh, application because it always come back to uh, clinic information it always come back to this font for some reason i don't know why but we'll see how to fix it but i think that's the you know the skeleton of the form uh, i'm happy for now for sure um we have the continuous form and we have the uh, form that will perform the card operation so i think this is what i wanted to make for now in this video and i hope that i have achieved that i hope that you have learned something um, i don't know what exactly you must have learned but if you have learned thing or two please do let me know in the comments below and um, this was important so in the next video we will kind of refine it we'll have some vba code we'll bind to the data etc etc so we'll do a lot of uh, stuff in the next video thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one